Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So today we're going to be diving back into the ATF's final rule on pistol braces. And we're going to discuss whether or not the ATF says that, well, once you remove your brace, you have to destroy it. So let's get to it. This channel is proud to be sponsored by the USCCA, absolutely one of the best resources and best memberships you could ever have in your wallet. They will teach you how to respond before and after a self-defense incident. They have a 24-7 emergency hotline. They will get somebody out there to take care of you and to speak for you, a lawyer of your choice. So definitely worth taking a look at the USCCA. With your membership, you get that self-defense liability insurance as well. So check them out down below. Let's get to it. So I made a video about this topic a while back and th that video was pretty highly debated. There was people saying that I was wrong, people saying that I didn't read it right or I was looking at the wrong thing. Well, and to be honest with you, there was multiple proposals. In the beginning, yes, the ATF did say that once you took it off, you had to destroy it and I provided evidence for that. In an updated proposed rule, that wasn't there anymore. So it didn't say that you had to take it off and destroy it. Well, now the ATF has their final rule, the final rule which has been entered into the federal registry. Well, now that it's finalized, what does that new rule say? Well, I have it right in front of me here. So let me read to you and show you exactly what the final rule says. Okay, so up on your screen, I'm going to put an image directly from the ATF's landing page for the final rule. At the bottom of that page, you can go ahead and click a little link and read the entire rule as it is in the federal register if you want to. It's almost 300 pages. It is completely exhausting to read, but feel free, I'll link that down below. Now I wanna draw your attention to one specific paragraph that's gonna talk about our topic here today. So it says in this paragraph, this rule is effective the date it is published in the Federal Register. Any weapons with stabilizing braces or similar attachments that constitute rifles under the NFA must be registered no later than 120 days after the date of publication in the Federal Register or the short barrel removed and a 16 inch or longer rifle barrel attached to the firearm or permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached or the firearm is turned into your local uh, ATF office or it is destroyed. So that is a very important paragraph, but there's even a more important sentence within that paragraph, again, that specifically details this topic. So it says here, or permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached. Now, I don't know what they mean by dispose of it. If I throw it in the trash, did I dispose of it? I mean, is that going to be good enough for them? Do I need to melt it down? I'm not sure because the only options that they give us here are either dispose of it or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached. And if you alter it to a point that it cannot ever be reattached, well, then you're destroying it. I know a lot of people think that destroying it means, you know, by chopping it up into little pieces or melting it down, that would be destroying it. But if you alter it in a way that you can't use it again, that's the same as destroying it. If I was to take a car tire and give you a car tire, right, and you put it on, and now I say, go ahead and take that car tire off, but I want you to make sure that you can never use it again, right? So I want you to uh, alter it so that it can't be used again. You've essentially destroyed that car tire. That car tire can be never, never be used again as a car tire. It's just a piece of rubber at that point. So if you, you've destroyed your car tire, if that means that you have to cut a huge hole in it so that it can never be put back on, it's destroyed, right? That's what they want you to do with the braces. Either dispose of it or alter it so that it cannot be reattached again. To me, that is the same as destroying it. Now I have just a hunk of plastic that is absolutely no good to me whatsoever. And so my question to that is, where is my compensation? If I have six, eight, 10 braces, these things are expensive. Some of them cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And if I have to make it so that, you know, it's never used again, where's the compensation in that for me? Now, they obviously say that you have other options. You can put something that's 16 inches on it. Well, in which case I can just use a regular stock. Uh, or you can always, you know, turn it over to the ATF. Those are your other options. But in all of those options, really, uh, I'm losing the brace, right? So where is my compensation? Because that is actually written into law. If you're requiring me to dispose or destroy my own privately owned property, then you have to compensate me for that. And there is no compensation written in here uh, that I can see. So again, 
while the original that I read said, yes, you have to destroy it. And then they came out with another one, an update that said that you didn't have to destroy it. You just had to remove it. And now the final one says that you have to alter it or dispose of it. Then yeah, in my mind, the final rule says that you have to destroy it in some form or fashion for all intents and purposes, it is destroyed at that point. So uh, again, I just wanted to make this very clear and kind of point out some of the nuances of this final rule that are absolutely ridiculous, but not only is it unconstitutional in the way that it infringes on your rights, it also infringes on your other constitutional rights because there is no compensation for me getting rid of my private property. I mean, you could be talking about thousands of dollars per person if they have multiples of these. So I think people would have to be compensated. Wouldn't that seem right to you guys? I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I, I do know the law. And the law says if the government's asking me to destroy something, they have to compensate me for it. Or if they're asking for it back or you know, wanting to take it away, I guess not asking for it back because they never owned it, but if they want to take it away from me, they have to compensate me for it as well. That's not in here either. So that needs to be a highlight of this. So yes, the final rule does say that if you take it off, you can't just take it off and throw it in a drawer. You have to do something with it, dispose of it or destroy it. So I wanted to make you guys aware of that on top of everything else that this ridiculous final rule does, that's in there as well. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.